Economists are lasering in on one specific facet of the October jobs report. It is higher wage growth. But there's a secret within the jobs report that we're about to reveal through the eyes of a famed economist that everybody listens to. Harvard University economics professor Ken Rogoff, the former IMF chief economist and also a chess grandmaster. I didn't know that about you. Well, we all have secrets. Oh, that's a good secret to have. Let's, let's get it out there. All right, let me get to the secret that you see in the October jobs report that, that opens a window into A, what the Fed will do, and B, whether we should be concerned about a recession on the way. Well, I wouldn't say concerned about a recession on the way. I think probably the Fed sees this as mid-cycle, and probably this jobs report means, yes, they're going to hike in December unless the markets go crazy after the election for some reason. But, oh, you know, wages going up is really the best news in the job report. It shows that there's competition for workers. And I think eventually some of this gets passed on into prices because it's certainly not soaring productivity. Well, let's talk specifically and explain it because you're the professor here on what to see in wages. So we did see wages, average hourly earnings go up 10 cents per for what? Explain this to people and how it works. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm okay. not sure I know the exact okay. statistic well, off the top cents, of my head. Well, it was 10 cents, and the, that's the largest year-over-year -year gain in seven and a half years. Is this possible? I know more than a Harvard professor because I did terribly in Econ 101. Oh, you're ahead of me. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I mean, wages have been very slow to rise. Now, some of this you have to understand is there's a shift mm -hmm. out of the higher paid manufacturing jobs, which are not growing, into more service sector jobs and people in lower paid jobs. So it's not, it's not fantastic mm -hmm. news in wages. Well, look at this long-term chart here. That, that's certainly a better picture, yeah, right? A, 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 absolutely. And, you know, I, again, if, if this is coming because productivity is higher, then they don't need to raise prices. They're getting more out of the existing workers so they don't have to charge more. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I mean, there's a bit of productivity increase, but probably workers are now starting to be in more demand in a lot of sectors. And it's good news, and the Fed's been trying to push up inflation, believe it or not. I don't think there can be a rush to raise interest rates a lot, but I do think we'll see one in December. Okay, so, so let me ask you a bit of a loaded question. What must the Fed do December 16th? when they make their next announcement. Raise, stand pat, what do you think? Well, I think they need to raise unless, as I said, they're going crazy in financial markets about something to do with the election, barring or a really bad number in November for jobs, like under 100,000, something really bad where they're you know, giving pause. But the okay, pictures folks, are very good. write that down. Good. If it's under 100,000, then stand pat. But they anything above pat, that, yeah. we're not in an emergency economic crisis anymore is what no, you're saying. No, no. I mean, they've held on. They've, I think the right policy has been to find the time to wait hike and then wait a year. They've waited a year, and I think they will. Is the Fed playing a game of chess since you're a grandmaster in chess? Is the, is the Fed playing with the pieces on a chessboard in advance of this election? People always suspect that maybe there is a bit of politics going on, and there is historical precedence for that, isn't there? Yeah, if you go back to the early 70s, Arthur Burns jazzed up the economy to help Nixon get elected, and you can actually hear that on the Watergate tapes. But I don't think that's... Lovely. <laughs> well, you can go listen to him. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's what's going on here. In fact, the Fed has been out there saying rates are going higher than the market thinks. Ple you know, they're saying, be warned, we're planning to raise rates. They've been talking up rates. That's not what you do when you're, you know, trying to juice up the economy. Look, there, there's so many concerns about which presidential candidate is more economically sound. Do either of the candidates scare you with their positions? Hillary wants to hike taxes on the wealthy. Donald Trump wants to basically declare war on companies like Ford and Carrier who go to the free open global market for cheaper prices in manufacturing. Do either of those positions scare you? I've got to be honest with you. Trump, just in general, scares me more. I don't know what he's going to do, the stuff about building a wall, the anti-trade policies. But certainly to the extent Clinton's pulled hard to the left by the Sanders part of the Democratic Party, not, you know, very good for growth, even if it's good for inequality. It's great to see you. Thank you so much. Is your, is your class oversubscribed at Harvard? <laughs> Wait, well, what? I'm oversubscribed. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ken Rogoff, Harvard University economics professor.